How and why did Nokia fail? Once Nokia was a global leader in telecoms and digital infrastructure. It was the world's largest vendor of mobile phones from 1998 to 2012. However, a series of bad decisions resulted in a Nokia failure. We all know the story of how Apple and Samsung, two relatively small companies at the turn of the century, rose to dethrone Nokia from its perch. A company valued at $250 billion is now worth less than $14 billion. The company that shipped 463 million phones in 2007 and just after a few years, it was 4.4 million only in 2013. Nokia fell into a trap that most companies face at one point or another. Nokia thought that product innovation was not a necessity. So, they continued to release products with minor changes and kept thinking that their market share won't be affected. Nokia's Timeline Nokia Corporation was formed in 1865 by Frederick, Edward, and Leo. Later on, in 1998, Nokia was termed one of the fastest-selling mobile brands globally. Nokia's profit was hiked to $4 billion by the end of 1999. In 2003, Nokia created its best-selling mobile, the Nokia 1100. But, when the other companies were looking to bring innovations to the market, Nokia was still on cloud 9 with its last creation. As a result, Apple came up with the iPhone, which disrupted the market and gained popularity very quickly. To compete with Apple, Nokia did come up with an innovation known as the iPhone Killer, which failed miserably in the market leading to the downfall of Nokia and paving the way for Samsung and Apple to rule the market. In the next five to six years, Nokia failed miserably, its market share declined and was negligible by late 2010. In 2014, Nokia was sold to Microsoft. December 1, 2016, HMD Global began marketing Nokia-branded smartphones and feature phones. Why did Nokia fail? The failure of Nokia is one of the most well-known examples of a disruptive technology wiping out an established player in a market. Nokia was one of the most dominant mobile phone brands in the world. Many of us still remember carrying the bulky Nokias, 3310, anyone, and proudly flaunting them to our peers. Nokia's response to the smartphone revolution was the Nokia N95, released in 2007 with GPS. Wi-Fi, stereo speakers, and a 5MP camera? These specifications weren't revolutionary. But perhaps it wasn't this particular release that led to the failure of Nokia, but rather its unwillingness to change and develop with the times. There were five significant reasons of Nokia fallen. 1. Not adapting to the environment. Nokia remained adamant about its feature phones as the world moved towards smartphones. As a result, it is believed that the future of mobile technology will be dominated by feature phones. This misinterpretation was the start of its downfall. Nokia was hesitant to upgrade to Android because it believed Android was not the mobile industry's future and customers would not migrate to it. Moreover, the company's management did not think of touchscreen smartphones as a necessity, which proved a failure for Nokia. 2. Microsoft Offer Once a household name in the mobile phone industry, Nokia lost its market dominance and was forced to sell its handset business to Microsoft. As Nokia's market share slid from 50% to less than 5% globally, there was a lot of speculation about what led to Nokia's failure. One of the primary reasons for that debacle was Nokia's inability to cope with change. As a result, the company lost sight of changing consumer preferences and failed to keep up with the competition. In turn to this cause, Nokia had to sell itself to Microsoft, which created a lot of buzz around the world about its incapability of coping with the changing environment and thus violating the fundamental rule of business, dynamic nature. 
3. Poor Marketing Strategies When you look at the company's most successful strategy today, i.e., Apple, you will find that the company has never unpredictably launched any new product. Instead, the company keeps adding new products to its existing product portfolio. The Nokia marketing strategy failed, and it tried to launch entirely new models with different brand names, such as the N-Series, E-Series, etc. As a result, consumers were confused while making a choice. Also, it was unable to create a brand appeal for these products. 4. Adapting too slowly to the industry trends Nokia was founded to make simple phones for people who didn't want to be bothered with complicated technology. The company was successful in that endeavor but failed to keep up with the times and eventually lost its market share to Apple and Samsung. And then, Nokia had a significant setback in 2007 when Apple launched the iPhones. This proved to be a turning point in the history of Nokia, as they got their taste of defeat after years of unchallenged dominance in the mobile phone industry. This made Nokia realize that they needed to change their strategy, and they also came up with new smartphones, but it was too late as Samsung had already taken its place by then. 5. Overconfidence Nokia was a market leader in mobile phones for 14 years. It had 70% of the market share and it was the largest vendor of mobile phones. But within 5 years, the company failed in the market. The company overestimated its brand value. They believed that people would still flock to stores and purchase Nokia manufactured phones would retain market leadership if they used just better software. This was far from reality. The Finnish telecoms firm sold its mobile phone business to Microsoft in 2014, though Nokia branded phones are still sold by HMD Global. From December 1, 2016, HMD began marketing Nokia branded smartphones and feature phones. February 26, 2023, for the first time in nearly 60 years Nokia changed its iconic logo to remind the world that it doesn't make mobile phones anymore. The Nokia fail is an example of how even massive corporations can lose market share if they don't cope with the changing environments and keep an eye on their competitors.